How's it going guys? Welcome back to a new Plan With Me video. We are halfway through the month. It's been crazy. I hope you guys are staying safe at home and doing okay. For this month's theme, I'm so excited to share it with you guys because it's something that is very close to my heart. But before we get into that, I would just like to let you know that I also post my bullet journal spreads on my Instagram account. So if you haven't done so, please do check it out and follow me at MicaJournals. And next, I would just like to give a big thank you to the Hopio Collective team for allowing me to use some of their artworks for inspiration. I will talk more about them later in the video, so please stay tuned. So some of you may already have an idea what I'm doing this month, especially for the Visceral Babies. I am doing a Visceral theme for this month, and in case you guys are wondering, Visceral is a popular gay girl love theme in the Philippines between Vaiskanda and Kirill because of their noontime show, It's Showtime, and because of their undeniable chemistry. For my cover page, I wanted to do something simple because last month, I just went all out with the doodles. That's why for this month, I'm going with something minimal and something with the color yellow because it is the theme color of Viceroy. And so what I did is I drew in this square and then I filled it in using my yellow zebra mod liner brush pen. I actually got the idea from Ati Kim's artwork. By the way guys, I will be linking down all the stationaries that I'll be using in the description down below in case you guys are curious. Going back, I know some of you may not be a fan of Viceroy, some of you may not even heard about them ever. That's why I didn't really go into detail for the theme. I'm mostly focusing on the spreads that I'm trying out this month which I think will be fun and you guys can try it out as well. Also there aren't a lot of doodles and even if there are it's just really simple like stars and shapes and also i will be using the stickers from the hapya collective and speaking of the hapya collective i got this book from them two years ago it is filled with comic arts and fan arts made by ate kim and ate jona and i also submitted an entry and was very lucky enough that my my entry got picked and was part of this small book right here the package also came with this mini book and it is filled with short stories written by Ate Ella and a couple of illustrations by Ate Kim. You can also support the Hapya Collective on their Instagram page and they also have a Patreon. So you can also support Hapya Comics on Patreon. I will look down all their social media links in the description down below so you guys can check them out and follow them and support Hapya Comics. So going back to our bullet journal setup, I will be using the stickers from the package. I remember fangirling so hard when I first got them because they're just so cute. And first when I got them, when I first saw them, I didn't want to use them. Like I just wanted to keep them for myself. And also I didn't know where to stick them. And that's why I just kept it for two years. And then two years later, I've decided that it's about time to use the stickers and the best way to use them is on your bullet journal. One of my favorite stickers is when Carol is dressed as Wonder Woman and Vice as Captain America. I think that it's so cool and it's like a dream crossover. But for my cover page, I will be using my favorite off cam moment which is this one. Do you guys remember this? This is when Vice was like dressed as Lee Min Ho and Carol had a huge crush on Lee Min Ho that time and that's why she was fangirling over Vice as Lee Min Ho and you can see in this sticker Vice was holding his phone because he was literally Instagramming that moment and then I just remembered when he posted it on his IG story the fans just went crazy <laughs> that's why that is one of my favorite off cam moments up to this day and now I'm just sticking it and oh my gosh it's so cute yeah okay right perfect i love it okay and then now i'm just writing in the title i mean yeah june at the top of the box square and it's nothing too uh fancy it's just a normal font <laughs> and then usually i would write a quote at the bottom but then i couldn't think of anything at the moment that's why i just left it blank maybe i'll get back to it later on but for now let's move on to the calendar page i always like my calendar next to the cover page so that whenever i flip through my my journal i get to see my calendar and as well as my cover page for the calendar i only have a small one because i'm not really that busy i'm mostly just staying at home and this calendar is how did i make this oh this is four by four square and then at the bottom i 
added my goals and then I'm just finishing it up writing the dates of the month and then the days. Moving on to the next page, this is something I'm excited to try out this month. I will be doing the Doodle a Day Challenge or Doodle a Day Prompt. I was inspired by Caitlin's Corner and I think it's nice to have some entertainment spread on my bullet journal rather than flipping through it and just look at a bunch of to-dos and tasks for my everyday life. And also after all that doodles from last month, I've been getting into drawing lately. That's why I want to challenge myself into doodling something else besides food, coffee cup, and more food. Oh, and then I made an error here. <laughs> there was an extra line. That's why it's really important to outline everything with a pencil first and then finalizing it with a pen. But don't worry guys, I got it covered. I literally covered it using my correction tape. The thing about bullet journaling guys is that you will always make mistakes. It's normal. And how I cope with these errors is that I have three steps. So first, you accept your mistake. And second, you move on from it. Or you find ways to cover it up. And that's what I did. I found a way. There are 30 boxes, so how I made it is 7x7 seven seven boxes, and then I separated them into two dot grid spaces so that on the left side, I have 15 boxes and another 15 on the right side. This took a while because I couldn't get the numbering right, but yeah, it's 7x7 seven seven boxes. And now, I'm just adding in some drop shadows because I don't know about you guys, but drop shadows just make everything look nice in a bullet journal. I like how it's like popping out. So I'm just adding in the drop shadows for all of it and then I'm going to list down the doodle prompts on each boxes. The prompts here are from Caitlin's Corner so I was inspired by her video. If you want to search for other doodle prompts, you can search them on Pinterest but for me, I'm using Caitlin's Corner's prompts and some of the prompts here are a plant, the sun, pizza, pair of glasses, your current mood, and a lot of things. I am really excited to fill this page with doodles. It's something to look forward to when I'm going to flip through my journal. Okay, next is my habit tracker. For this one, I'm still using the same layout I have been for the past two years. But I'm planning to change it next month. It's just that for now, I couldn't think of any other way to create my habit tracker. So if you guys have any suggestions or any layout ideas for my habit tracker, please do let me know because I really need a change of layout. <laughs> and But then I tried to design it a bit. So for the title of each tracker, I colored it in using my Black Food Nosky pen. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then I'm just going to write in the tracker using my white jelly roll pen. Also, I try to be more creative or artsy by adding in some craft paper at the bottom just to add some uh, a bit of changes in my habit tracker because for the past few months and years, it's just been plainly like that. Just like habit tracker, that's it. And now I'm just adding in the title and then later on I'm gonna fill it in the, the trackers with my white jelly roll pen. I also found a quote on Pinterest which I think is very motivational. It says, what you do today can improve all your tomorrows by Ralph Marston. Okay, moving on to the next page is my mood tracker. I'm so excited for my mood tracker because I'll be using another sticker from the Hapio Collective, which is 
this cutie right here. Look at this unicorn. He's winking at me. <laughs> so cute. Okay, this mood tracker is going to be cute, but simple, but cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this unicorn right here at the bottom. And then I'm going to draw 30 stars to represent my mood each day. I chose stars because Vice loves stars. He has stars tattooed on his neck, on his wrist, and he also has a Pegasus tattooed on his back. Also, I think the unicorn and the stars, they go very well together. They're like the perfect combination. And now I'm just writing in the title. I'm so excited for my mood tracker. I just want to color them all. <laughs> I'm so excited. Now I'm just erasing the pencil marks. Ta-da! Look at it! It's so cute! You should try this tracker as well, guys. It's so cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my mild liners to represent uh, my different types of mood each day. I'm so excited to color them. I feel like it's going to be so colorful, like a rainbow. And there you go, guys, my mood tracker. I love how this mood tracker turned out. And now I'm just spreading out my stickers so that it will be easier for me to choose from. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Guys, the number of times I said cute in this video, I don't know, I lost count. The next page that I'll be doing is my gratitude spread. But unlike the previous spreads that I have for my gratitude, this is something different. I will be using this small envelope and then I'm going to stick it on this page. And then inside this envelope, I will have a small note where I will write down the things that I'm grateful for. Having a gratitude page on my journal has really helped me focus on the good things. It helped me appreciate the little things in life. To quote Cleo Wade's Hard Talk, gratitude is a celebration we are all invited to. I agree with her when she said that when we think of gratitude, it is this big and complicated idea. But in fact, gratitude is simple. Sometimes we have our good days, sometimes we have our bad days, and on our bad days or down moments, it creates this barrier between us and gratitude. But then when we start finding gratitude in small ways, we will then begin to build the momentum to find gratitude in big ways. To quote her again, allow there to be lightness in the journey of finding your gratitude, remembering that it's a party to which you're always invited. Okay, next is my sleep tracker. This is a very important tracker in my bullet journal. And I've tried a lot of layouts the past few months, but uh, this is what works for me. So it's just, it's just a very simple layout. On the top part, I have the number of hours of sleep. So it ranges between one to 10 hours. And then on the left side, I have the date and the days of the week. I also marked on the 8 hour because that is the average hours of sleep which I rarely get. I mostly get like 6 to 7 hours of sleep every night. I'm just finishing it with a title and it's a very simple tracker and I prefer to keep it that way. The next spread on my bullet journal is a self-isolation checklist. Just to keep me busy at home and to remind myself that there are so many things to do at home because it could be tempting to just stay in bed and watch movies all day but i know i'll regret it later on because i didn't do anything productive so if you guys are looking for something to do at home because you're bored in the house and in the house bored hopefully this checklist would give you some idea and maybe some inspiration as well so some of the things i've listed down listening to a podcast learning a new song tidying up my room organizing my workspace i like to think of it as now that we're spending more time at home, we finally get to do the things that we've been planning to do but then we couldn't because we're just always busy, we're always at work. So now that we're at home, we finally have the time to do those things. I will also include a checklist in the description in case you guys want to try this spread out. 
So the next page is more on the entertainment part of quarantine. Now that we're spending more time at home, we get to bond with our family more. So in this spread, I'm just making a things to check out list. So like movies to watch, TV series, and some books to read. I've recently binge watched two seasons of Dead to Me and I'm so in love with that show. But as of now, I'm not watching any shows. So if you guys have any recommendation, comment them down below. I'd love to watch some new shows or else I'll just end up re-watching the shows I've already watched way too many times. And then for the books, I've recently been reading poetry and I'm loving it. And I also tried listening to an audiobook, which was great. It's a new experience for me. To finish up this spread, I'm just adding some small grids. But then later on I realized I didn't like it. It didn't it didn't look organized to me. It looked so random. There were just grids all over. So I, what I did is that I stopped filming because I wanted to figure things out what I was trying to do. So I stopped filming and then this was what I was trying to achieve earlier, guys. <laughs> I wanted to make grids. That, that's what I was trying to do earlier and the other one just looks so messy and unorganized whereas for this one it's more neat and tidy <laughs> so what I did was I cut out uh, another piece of paper from my previous bullet journal and then I did the entire entertainment spread again which was okay I like how this one turned out And I actually like the layout. I might play around with this layout in the future for my future spreads. I actually like how this spread turned out. To finish up this two pages, I'm going to add this sticker. It's so cute. This is so cute. I just want to thank the Hopio Collective again for these really cute stickers. They're like the highlight of my bullet journal setup. And they make my journal look more cute. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for these two pages. We have finally reached the last spread for this month's setup, which is the weekly layout. For the first week of June, I am doing another Dutch door because I really liked how my Dutch door from last week turned out. It really worked for me. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's up on my channel. It's where I set up my weekly layout using Dutch doors. So you guys can watch it as well right after this video. So going back, I really like how the Dutch door worked out for me last week because even though I have a new layout, I still get to use my time schedule for my everyday task. So I like to have my mini calendar on the left side and my weekly events at the bottom. And unlike the Dutch door from last month, this one is very simple. There are no drawings at all, so there are no complicated drawings and there's no struggling with the cutting because this is just cutting one straight line to make a Dutch door. And then on the right side, I am just adding my grocery list, my YouTube tracker, and then my Instagram tracker. And now just to finish up the setup, I'm adding in some drop shadows because I cannot end this layout without a drop shadow. 
And that's it for my weekly spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this Plan With Me video and now here's a flip through. For my cover page, I added a quote that says, Choose love. It is one of my favorite quotes that Kirill said to her fans. Thank you once again, the Hapyo Collective, for allowing me to use your artwork for inspiration. And thank you so much for the stickers. And thank you guys for tuning in and planning with me. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And also guys, let me know which ones are your favorite spread for this month. Comment them down below. I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye!